Yo, what's up, world? Welcome back to the channel, APW Sports, signing in. And if you guys seen the 49ers versus the Green Bay Packers game, we all know that the 49ers were coming into that game shorthanded, whether it was due to the ton of injuries they had or whether it was due to the positive COVID test that happened throughout the course of their team. So it leads me to this question. Is it really time for the San Francisco 49ers to tank the season? Is it time for them to just pull the plug on trying to repeat their NFC championship? Is it time for them to really give the season away to get a higher draft pick? But before I answer any of those questions, I just want to make sure that you guys are staying absolutely safe out there. I know it's still a lot going on, and I just want to make sure that you guys are staying absolutely safe. And also, about 60 to 70 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So if you fit into that category, go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you would not miss a single video that I post. But enough with all that. Without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm striving to get rich. That's why I almost went two years without buying shoes and fits. Things change now. My mom hearing me with my music and she look a little proud. As we all know, the San Francisco 49ers are the defending NFC champions from the 2019 season. And the 2020 season sees them at four and five as we stand as the moment I record this video. So the 49ers being at four and five is not necessarily a good thing. But once you look deep into the reason that they are four and five, it's pretty damn impressive if you ask me. But the four and five record, and it looks like it's going to be worse due to all of the injuries and the COVID tests. It just led me to the question, is it time for them to tank the season? When you have guys like Jimmy Garoppolo, who isn't projected to return until week 14. Richard Sherman, who isn't projected to return until week 11. Solomon Thomas with the torn ACL that is out for the rest of the season, as well as Nick Bosa with the torn ACL that is down for the rest of the year. D Ford isn't scheduled to come back until week 12. George Kittle, not till week 16 and possibly the rest of the season. Raheem Mostert with an ankle injury till week 10. Offensive lineman center Ben Garland with the calf injury till week 10. Mark Choka, linebacker until week 10. Ezekiel Ansa with the biceps injury. He is out for the year. Jordan Reed, week 9 or week 10. Jalen Hurd is down for the year with the torn ACL. Jeff Wilson is down with an ankle injury. His potential is week 12. So, and then on top of that, you had Debo Samuel, Trent Williams, and Brandon Ayuk on the COVID list, and it just screams, is it time for this 49ers team to tank this season? The answer to that question for me, I think will be yes, and here's why. The San Francisco 49ers, with all of the injuries that they have, and not only those injuries, those injuries, i.e. Bosa, Garoppolo, George Kittle, are all at key positions and key players that have a huge huge factor into the success of this football team now if you guys watch the packers versus 49er game thursday night you really see that this 49ers team plays hard but you can honestly tell it is very lacking in talent due to all of the injuries and the positive COVID test is it time for them to tank? Yes. Now, the Niners aren't, I don't think, tanking for a quarterback. They're not tanking for anything spectacular. But I think the reason for them tanking could be to, A, use a high draft pick as a trade piece to get somebody like a corner on the other side. Because, honestly, Richard Sherman, he's been good. He's been great throughout his career. But... He's also getting up there in age as far as corners go. I think bringing in a guy like a Stephon Gilmore or somebody like that that can really help this 49ers defense is really be key because we've seen Jason Ferret, albeit he's having a resurgent season due to all the injuries that he has suffered throughout his career, 
there's a way that you can tell that Jason Verrett is just not the same corner that he was, let's say, with back in his Los Angeles slash San Diego Charger days. So that is one position where I think the 49ers can use some more improvement. Now, the loss of DeForest Buckner, I think, has really hurt this team. But the defensive line, I don't think, is a huge problem for this team. Now, I think getting a number one real wide receiver for the 49ers, I think that can be helpful. As much as I love to watch Debo Samuel play, Brandon Ayuk is coming on. But I just really think that they can use a really deep threat, a guy that can go over the top, a big tall receiver that can make plays in this offense because Kyle Shanahan I think is one of the better offensive minds that we have in this league the running back position with Mostert and the running back position with Wilson I think the running back position is fine you have of course I think arguably the best tight end in football in George Kittle you have Jimmy G who has his up and down moments but the man wins games and he makes the plays to win games. You have that, and you also have a $26 million cap hit on Garoppolo, so that's not going to be the case to let him go. The main reasons I could think this 49ers team would be better off tanking is I think they could use that high draft pick to obtain players that can really help this team now, and I think a high draft pick, if they choose to use it on a player, I think could be best spent at the wide receiver or the cornerback position to really improve either of those spots. Because without the injuries, I think the San Francisco team will be right up there with the Seattle football team that is a one-loss team. San Francisco is a really, really good football team, and they showed it last year going to the Super Bowl. And despite all the injuries, they are still a 4-5 and five football team. So I just think taking a season because a lot of those players aren't scheduled to come back until at least after week 12. And if the game against the Packers has any indication, the 49ers team is in some trouble for the next coming weeks. So I think it's best to just scrap the season, let those players really truly heal up. As much as I like to say don't give up on winning, as much as I like to say win, 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 but it's at some point you're going to have to pull a plug on this season because the injury list and the COVID list for the 49ers is only getting deeper and it's only getting worse. Especially with Jimmy G, who's been dealing with the high ankle sprain for almost all year. You have Nick Mullins and CJ Beathard backing them up, but either of those guys have not played necessarily really good football. You have an offensive line who's pretty much healthy outside of Garland. But the main point of the San Francisco 49ers team, the main weapons on each side of the ball outside of Warner are really banged up for this football team. As hard as they play and as good as they are coached, I just think these injuries that they suffered are just a little bit too much to overcome for the rest of the year going forward. So I just really think it's best for the San Francisco 49ers team to just pull the plug and tank the season to get a high draft pick to either use wide receiver or corner or to use it as a trade piece to improve this team because it's in a win now mode. But that's all I have for you guys today. Be sure to like the video, comment your thoughts down below, share the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps the channel to grow. But that's all I have. APW Sports signing out. Make sure you guys stay safe. Have a great and excellent day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I want to say thank you to my mom and my daddy for making love the night that you had me. I want to thank my friends, my sister and my brother.